Hello, hello, my friends. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Oh my God, this has been a crazy week. As you all know, I'm going to be hosting my video podcast Academy Masterclass next week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's going to be the Masterclass in English. And then on Wednesday at 7 p.m. as well, I'm going to be hosting the Masterclass in Spanish. So I'm super excited about that. Over 2,000 people have registered so far. It's just incredible. My heart is just like pumping. Hey, Billy. Hi, everyone. Um, so happy Friday. So we're here today. And actually, let me post uh, right here real quick the topic that we're going to be talking about. And let me ping it to the very top. Uh, so that way, everyone that joins know exactly what we're going to be talking about. So as you know, because I've been showing you the progress as I was making it, I made a document called Video Podcast Myth Debunked, right? Because there is a lot of questions that people have that they actually believe that they're true. So what I said is, well, why not take those questions and actually anything that is not real, anything that is just a belief, let's just go ahead and debunk it so you can see in reality how video podcast actually works. So we're going to be going through that. And let me just, I have a couple of slides here for you guys. Um, so as I said, today we're going to be talking about the video podcast Myth Debunked, and there are actually five of them. So let's jump right in. All right. The very first one that you're going to see in this document is that you need a ton of gear, that you need to invest a lot of money on this equipment. And my response to anyone that comes to me and actually that come with the first question about technology like what kind of equipment do i need how much money do i need to spend my immediate answer to everyone is i want you to not spend any money on equipment i want you not to think about equipment and actually to think about the target audience that you're trying to reach, the problem that you're trying to solve. And then if you're really going to be committed to deliver this content to your audience, because being consistent with your video podcast is a lot more important than having the best equipment. Now, when I started, and I'm going to show you this real quick. When I started, I started with just a regular pair of earphones, okay, with my phone and also with Zoom. Zoom is the platform that I use to record my video podcast. And then I separate the video from the audio to share it. So my recommendation when it comes to the equipment that you're going to need, just don't invest any money at first. Just make sure that you can stay committed. Use earphones like this, use your phone, use the computer with Zoom, and you will be good to go. Now, later on, if you do want to operate, once you have um, committed to do it on a consistent basis, then you can invest on something like this. So now I'm doing a little bit of a show and tell here on Friday. But this is the actual Logitech camera that I use to record my video podcast. The quality of it is really good. It also comes with audio. It's got, like so you can see, um, speakers on the side. So that, that is really good. And that is all I use, guys. And when I'm actually recording from home, I have my Yeti mic, which is attached to my desk. Now, if you're interested in learning more about all the equipment that I use to record my video podcast, I have other videos right here on my IGTV that you can look into where I actually spell out my entire checklist of all the equipment that I use today. But as I said, if you're just starting, don't invest any money, just go for um, just the basics, the earphones, the computer, and a camera. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. So we're talking about the top five video podcast myth debunked. So let's go now on to myth number two. And as I said, I put this document together so you don't have to take any, any notes. You can just go to the link in bio and download it. So for people that tell me, oh, I need to find a guest all the time and it's going to be really difficult. I don't know that many people or I don't have the large following yet. Here's my answer. 
there is different types of video podcast formats, okay? You don't have to stick. If you have a fear, if you have, if you're hesitant about doing the interview style, then don't go with that one. You can do a solo where you can record your content as an expert and actually give your skills and expertise and your opinion with regards to a given topic. So my recommendation is that you decide which is the video podcast type that you want to do first before you use kind of like the excuse of, I need to find a guest every single time because that that is not true. For example, you will see um, very famous entrepreneurs, very successful entrepreneurs like James Wetmore, like Amy Porterfield, like Jasmine Starr, that they don't do interviews all the time. They actually do a hybrid. So they, they sometimes talk by themselves and they give their opinion on a topic, they teach people on a skill, and some other times they interview other entrepreneurs. So it is your choice. I cover that inside of Video Podcast Academy. I go through all the different types of video podcast formats so that way you can make an informed decision with regards to the correct or the proper video podcast type for you. Now, the next question or myth that I hear all the time is, I don't have time. And I'm gonna take this slide down here one second because I really wanted to see you guys and tell you, if you're telling me that you have a passion, that you feel deep in your heart, that you have something to say, that you have a message to share with the world, but then at the same time you're telling me, but I don't have time, Sandy. Like I'm too busy doing other things. Then that means, you're not really committed yet, okay? And if you agree with me, just give me a hand raise or give me a heart or give me your comments here because reality is the day that you commit to do something, let's just just an example like committing to go to the gym because you wanna get in shape, because you wanna lose weight or because you want to tone, what do you do? You commit to doing that in a regular basis. You set up the frequency and you do it. You never come up with excuses that you don't have time. If you don't have time to follow your dreams, follow your passion, and actually be on this earth to help others, then my friend, I'm gonna be questioning you, okay? And that is my job here, to actually help you think through this. So I don't want to hear the excuses, I don't have time. And again, here is the video podcast myth debunk document, which you can find on the link in bio. Hello, hello everyone. Um, okay, so myth number four is I am nervous to show up on camera, okay? I get this one a lot, actually. You will be surprised to know how frequently I get this one. And I'm going to tell you a quick story that maybe you have heard before or not. But the very first time that I decided to do my video podcast, I said, okay, I have no experience. I don't know anything about video. I didn't even know anything about audio. And yet I went for it. I took the plunge. I did it. Why? Because I felt deep in my heart that it was exactly what I wanted to do. So. My suggestion to you is those nerves, right? Like the sweaty palms, the heart beating a thousand miles an hour. Those things are not gonna go away. They're, they don't go away for the experts either. I mean, you will hear people like Jas Jasmine Starr, when she jumps on these live calls, the first thing she says is, gosh, I'm nervous. And it's true. I mean. You get that nervousness and sometimes it's excitement. You need to learn how to channel that, but don't use that as an excuse to stop you from sharing your message with the world. My question to you, if you tell me, Sandy, but I'm afraid to be in front of the camera, is going to be so, what you're telling me is you're afraid to help others? What you're telling me is you're afraid to share your message? because that is what it boils down to, my friend. So I don't wanna hear that I am afraid. I think you can get over that the second that you shift that mentality from being focused on you, on your fears, on how you look, and you start focusing on your audience. When you focus on what can I deliver? What is the message that I can give? How many people can I help? That is when the shift is gonna happen, okay? So, um, now let's go on to 
Number five, which is the very last one, which is I am better off focusing just on blogging. Now, I don't get that question only with regards to focusing on blogging. Some people actually ask me, Sandy, if I'm going to do video podcasts, I don't you think I'm better off just doing podcasts, which is the audio, or just doing video for now? And what I will tell you with regards to this is, first of all, video podcast is the new blogging, okay? That is just hands down period what is happening right now in reality. If you see some of the statistics, 40% of the U.S. population today is listening to video podcasts. And that is only in the U.S. If you were to think about in the entire world, everybody's actually adopting this more and more and listening to podcasts. Now, by 2025, 80% of the traffic driven to the web, to the internet, is going to come from video. So you tell me, why wouldn't you use both? Why wouldn't you take advantage of the fact that you're sitting down once a month to batch your content to actually take care of doing it once and actually replicating that into multiple mediums, into multiple marketing channels and social media channels. That is what video podcast is all about. That is the secret to be as effective and efficient as you can be when you sit down to create your content. So you're not only doing the audio, but you're also doing the video piece. Now, I also want to emphasize, and this is something that I'm going to be talking about during my masterclass on Tuesday in English and Wednesday in Spanish, is that I want you to think about this. And actually tell me here in the comments, what type of content do you like better? Do you like reading? Do you like um, uh, video, like visual, or do you like audio? If you can just tell me on the comments down here below, how do you like consuming content? Because what I want to tell you with regards to this is different people consume content in different ways. There are people that are more visual. There are people that like to listen to better off. There are people that like to read. So by you adding video to your podcast strategy, if you already have a podcast, or by launching a video podcast, now you're actually covering more um, of your audience that like to consume the content in different ways. If you decide to keep it on audio only, which is podcast, you are limiting yourself significantly for the reach that you can achieve with your content. So I just want to drop that mic and that bump right there for you to think about. And now you tell me, what do you think are the benefits of video podcasts? Because to me, they're just simply obvious. And for people that are not doing it, you should be considering it seriously. Okay. So just a quick reminder, then we just cover the top five video podcast myth and we debunk them all and here's a document that i created now it's available for you you can follow the link in bio and you're gonna find it and also i just wanted to remind you guys that next week on tuesday at 7 p.m i'm going to be hosting my video podcast academy master class and that is in english on tuesday at 7 and then in Spanish on Wednesday at 7. Sí, para todos mis amigos latinos, allí estaré para ustedes en español. Así que we will do both, English and Spanish. So thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a beautiful Friday. And if you have any questions, just feel free to DM me. Have a beautiful Friday.